Is there actually anything wrong with watching two people have sex through your computer? Isn't this a natural function of mother nature? Shouldn't we always be in these voyeuristic situations watching other people having sex through our computers? What is unnatural about this? I mean, I don't understand. It seems so, so, so natural. Um, no, it doesn't. It's completely unnatural. Totally cheapens and destroys your idea of sex, which is a very sacred thing. Sex stands for sacred energy exchange. And when you cheapen sex to make it like a McDonald's burger that you just drive through a drive through to get, there is no process in it. There's no love. There's no intimacy. It's just objectification of women. It's just the lust. It's just about the orgasm. It's only about the physical pleasure. Well, you're basically cheapening sex on an entire scale of your mind and this affects society horribly. I must have missed something in the mind control programs on this planet because I have never thought this was normal, sexy, or cute. However, the majority of humanity has fallen into a fluoridated porn obsession, which is basically why I decided to make this video. Let's break it down from an energetic perspective first, and then let's go into the more spiritual and physical ramifications of watching porn, especially in men, how it lowers their testosterone. And then we'll talk about how to get rid of your porn addiction and heal your relationships at the end of the video. And I also just want to say this isn't shaming anyone for what they're doing. It's only just raising awareness about porn and the ramifications of it because this isn't talked about enough. So this video was made a little bit before I stopped practicing like new age types of things like manifesting an energy so if you just replace energy with your spirit and if you just replace the universe with god then you can kind of understand this video better you're only going to manifest whatever you were watching on the porn video so it could be a very low vibration because usually porn actresses and things are in low vibrational situations and you're basically connecting your energy with their energy when you're watching that happening on the screen having an orgasm and trying to intentionally manifest something with that orgasm energy is completely different than watching porn videos because you don't know who's in those videos you don't want to manifest those situations when people talk about sex magic and things like this they're not saying to watch porn all the time because that depletes your sexual energy basically depleting your bank account of sexual energy that the more sexual energy that's in your auric field the more higher vibrational it's going to be porn and sex does not have anything to do with sex magic it's not going to manifest your reality by watching porn if anything again a lot of times all of these actresses in porn are addicted to drugs or substance abusing or they're in a very low vibrational situation themselves which is why they are doing porn and you're basically connecting your aura with their auric field and you're getting that lower vibrational energy if you become like a fan of them and watch them constantly and things like that that's going to connect you with their situation 2016 american sociological association study it showed that people who watch porn are twice as likely to get divorced than people who don't watch porn there's also been links to porn and increased infidelity in relationships which does make sense because when you're sexualizing people and you're sexualizing people who are out of the people that you love or are close to you're probably going to be more likely to become sexually deviant or just become like more interested in possibly engaging in a sexual act with someone else and when these fantasies come into reality because we understand that thoughts create reality it's more likely that you won't have the best types of relationships if you are with someone who watches porn or if you yourself watch porn so there's a lot of evidence that porn negatively affects relationships there's also evidence from neurological studies that negatively affects the brain every second in the u.s 28,000 people are viewing pornography it's very easy to get addicted to pornography because what it is is a, an award center that's in your brain so your dopamine releases when you're watching something that you like and if you continuously watch something that you like over and over again you're going to have more and more hits of dopamine and that dopamine will increase because you need a stronger hit in order to be 
more satisfied by it. So what happens with people who watch porn is they typically have to go for more sexually deviant types of porn over and over again because they will stop getting the amount of dopamine from just regular normal things and then they'll have to go deeper and deeper into this um, type of porn addiction and the addiction comes from that hit of dopamine so it's just like any other addictive substance when you're smoking or you're drinking you get that hit of dopamine and you get those neurological things that happen in your brain and that makes an addiction that creates an addiction to it five to ten percent of the u.s population admits to having a porn addiction which involves watching porn for 11 to 12 hours a day so that's the very intense side of porn addiction but again, if you feel like you cannot give it up or it's negatively affecting your life, then it may be an addiction in some there way. There is a term called NoFap, which basically refers to men abstaining from masturbation for a period of time. And what that actually does is it increases the testosterone in their bodies. Because when men are constantly ejaculating, it actually weakens them and weakens their system and it reduces their testosterone. So this hasn't really been done um, involving women, but with men, NoFap has increased hair growth and testosterone levels, and this is proven. There are books on it that I will link in the description. And this is gaining a lot of popularity because we live in such an over-sexualized society where men feel that they have to constantly have this release but it's actually weakening them and of course it's weakening their auric field when they're releasing sexual energy so often with no actual intention for anything. My biggest issue with porn is that it's increasing the amount of sex trafficking and it's linked to sex trafficking. So 80% of sex trafficking victims admit to being a part of pornography or filming a video for pornography while they were being sex trafficked. If you think that you've never watched a website that had sex trafficked videos on it, you are extremely naive. Pornhub asks for zero verification from its actresses or actors on who they are, where it was filmed, the situation. There's more than likely that there are sex trafficking victims on Pornhub and it's obvious that if you are on these websites you would have encountered something like that. Of course there's coercion. The stories and accounts of ex-porn stars basically mirror the stories and accounts of sex trafficked victims. So they say that they were hair pulls, you know, nose was bleeding, didn't want to have sex with the other people they were forced to have sex to, but had to for money or for their job. And it's basically a form of sex trafficking that is just more acceptable in society for whatever reason. And these girls are forced into it a lot of the time because they are with a pimp or a handler that basically tells them they have to do it. And then once they do it, those videos are on the internet forever, which may ruin their chances of getting a normal job. Take Mia Khalifa, for example. Once she describes being basically talked into doing pornography by men around her. And once she did do the pornography, it exploded so fast and gained so much popularity so quickly, she was not really able to get out of the industry because her name was and face were already plastered all over the internet for these types of things. And now, even now, she cannot get a job and she just describes regretting her time in the pornography. The porn is not friendly or okay to the women that work in the industry. And I would argue that if you're a feminist or care about women's rights, then watching porn is not really something that goes along with those ideals and ideologies. So contrary to popular belief, not all porn that you find on Pornhub or other major porn sites is actually done by consenting and happy individuals that want to engage in these acts. And that's obviously a low vibrational thing if it's unconsensual sex. There is a quote by an ex-porn star that basically says most porn actresses are drugged heavily for hardcore sex scenes, basically because they may be painful, etc. And it obviously then uh, glamorizes the abuse of women. Studies on that show that most porn actors have a what's called a no list where there's an, a list of people that they would not have sex with on camera and a lot of times they are actually just forced to do that anyway because of how the industry is set up and there's a lot of pimps and johns and things like this in the industry 
that are money hungry or basically want to abuse women and take advantage of sex trafficking victims because they know that the victim of sex trafficking is going to be way easier to coerce into an industry that is full of sex. Traffickers also use pornography to train their victims to do sex acts in a way that's better or more satisfying to their clients. And the sex acts that they are filmed in taking actually are sent to different clients and that's basically like an advertisement for the girl. So obviously these things are sick and really disgusting. I was very surprised to see how many people actually support porn and claim to be kind of in the spiritual community it doesn't really make a lot of sense to me a spiritual community or higher vibration means that we're going to lift people up we're going to make people have happier lives if you're supporting an industry that has these things going on in it you are not making the world a better place to quote this doctor at American University, Dr. Irvine, she says that porn is often filmed of sex trafficking and rape victims. Again, Pornhub does no screening of the video. They have no background info. There are studies that show that when hardcore pornography is viewed, a person will have like not as much of a reaction to hardcore um, pornography such as rape you know or hitting a woman or just brutal types of sex acts you'll basically desensitize yourself if you constantly watch this type of thing and what desensitization does is when there's actually a problem in reality with women being treated poorly or rape you are not going to care because it's going to go from the realm of your porn watching into the realm of your real life again everything you consume is, is put into your subconscious mind and that affects your entire reality that affects how you perceive absolutely everything in life in this peer-reviewed study researchers found that adolescents who were exposed to porn specifically adolescent girls who were exposed to porn actually receive a higher amount of depression and lower self-esteem after watching pornography this is extremely sad to me that people are not understanding how a porn would affect a woman's sexual view of herself and how much just violent porn is out there too and how also porn just objectifies women and makes guys just think that women are sex objects and you might think that's a that's not true but the thing is when you are watching something you cannot differentiate that from reality and that's again called neural mirroring so if you constantly are watching things that show women in a certain light you're going to think that women want to be in that certain light and that's just fact Porn is a product it's meant to sell it's meant to get views and it's meant to provoke reactions in people that's how they make the most money so porn is not an accurate representation of sexuality and if you're constantly watching porn you're basically brainwashing yourself into thinking that that is an accurate representation of sexuality in your sex life men often have to take drugs during porn so that they don't ejaculate too quickly and women, of course, have to be drugged to basically get through the acts that they have to do. These drugs in general lower the vibration of people and lower your auric field. Drugs in general will cause holes to come into your auric field and etheric entities can get through those holes. So drugs in general are not a good thing if you want to have a higher vibration. So why would you support an industry that continuously drugs the people who work for it just so they can produce a product for you? That doesn't make any sense. Something you have to ask yourself if you're really comfortable with it and okay with it. And if you're not, you might be a little bit addicted to pornography, so it's always good to take a step back and do a no fab. Of course, more research has come out that men who watch porn are more likely to support statements that actually increase sexual abuse to girls or or normalize sexual abuse towards girls or sexually aggressive statements towards girls. That's because pornography is an aggressive thing that just gets even more aggressive as time goes on. And the more that people are going to be consuming porn, the more aggressive the industry is going to have to make porn to continue to get those high amounts of views and to continue to make people get a reaction from their porn. So it gets even more hardcore. In the 1970s, hardcore porn just meant that two people were engaging in an act of sexual intercourse. Now it's involved with humiliation and torture techniques and things like this that, you know, they actually are similar to things that are used, you know, 
um, the pedophilia uh, in Epstein's Island and things like that. So pornography actual statistics here, two out of four boys under the age of 14 have already viewed porn by the time that they turn 14 years old. And that's only going to increase with the amount of computers and the amount of the ubiquity of getting on the internet and finding an internet connection. This is not healthy. It's not healthy for little kids to be even thinking about sex. That also goes with a lot of abuse and grooming techniques of young children is they'll create a sexual mindset in the child. And children should not be thinking about sex before puberty. There's no reason to. So young boys watching porn is a huge red flag and it should be for anyone in this society. So if you're struggling with stopping an addiction or just stopping watching these types of content, then just remember that today is a new day and you can be whoever you want to be today. You don't have to be the same person that you were yesterday. There's nothing stopping you from just saying, okay, today I'm done. Today I'm not going to do that. And just remember that your sexual desire is never actually going to be satisfied. That the lust and the, you know loving and lusting over the flesh and thinking that your sexual desire is going to be satisfied is just not true. The more that you cater to your sexual desires, the more that they're going to enhance themselves and become stronger and have a bigger grip over your soul. So they'll have more control over you the more that you try to cater to them. And today is just the day to say no and just be like, I'm going to do something that works on myself, not depletes myself of this energy and you know makes my life worse it's so hard sometimes with our over sexualized society where you can just go on instagram and you know there's just so much sexual content so i understand it's difficult but we really have to remove ourselves from the world and just because all your friends are doing something doesn't mean that it's healthy or it's good or it's right to be doing those words of advice and stay strong away from pornography and you'll notice such an improvement in your life you'll have a lot much more focus and clarity if you stop um watching porn and you'll notice that you have a better thought process and you're able to think more deeply about things you won't have to constantly be just a slave to your lustful desires and of course like true love is just not about lust and if you're just interested in only the physical pleasures then finding true love is definitely going to be more difficult because it goes so much deeper than just the flesh and it's so much you know more beautiful to have a deep bond lasting connection with people in real life not people on the screen and it's just so much more beautiful to build that and to fight the new world order by building real stable family units is really important that we all start to do this and we all start to band together and build these long lasting you know relationships with each other where we can respect and not just follow people or like people because of their sexual worth but we respect what's inside the soul and what's in the mind of people so i hope that the message comes across well and if you know someone who's struggling or your boyfriend or your relationship is struggling because of this then feel free to send them this video and wake them up gently and show them that there is a way out of it and that it really isn't as innocent as it looks it's not just to relieve stress this is really causing havoc in a lot of people's lives and one third of men in a study in 2014 said that um one third of men actually said that they might be struggling with porn addiction so this is a lot of people that we know this is people that we interact with daily who are struggling with this truly so it's an addictive thing and we don't want to fuel this any longer okay so i appreciate you guys so much and i hope that you guys can have a great rest of your evening and i'll talk to you later